I just spent 777 soul tickets on the 7th anniversary club event. Let's see what we got. Before we do that, we're going to do one last final 5 times run to see if we can get any extra luck while on camera. Okay, so we got a full lobby. Let's jump into it. All right, so we finished up the quest. Personally, I've been using Aizen, mainly due to the fact that I don't have Yamamoto just yet, at least. His banner is going to be dropping in like four days' time, and you bet we're going to summon on that and hopefully try and get in there. But let's see for our final run if we can get anything extra super special or spicy. So moment of truth. Let's see what we get. So we got 77. So a decent droppage there. We got the bare minimum, bare minimum, bare minimum. Uh, a decent droppage again once more, so nothing too special, but as far as runs do go, this wasn't really the worst one since we did get a few extra Super Links or potions. So now let's have a look at the drops that we did get for our 777 runs. Now, I didn't keep track on my crystals and or jewels. Keep that in mind. We are actually maxed out here. I do need to delete some here. Let me just quickly do that. Uh, but it does appear that we went up around 10,000. It really depends on how lucky you do get. But again, I already maxed out every single character. So don't really mind about that. And I already have a good amount. You shouldn't be farming this quest for jewels or crystals, though. It's like it's an added bonus to what you could also get while farming this particular quest. But let's have a look at our EXP crystal because we actually did get a a few of those so small exp crystals stayed the exact same you don't get any small exp crystals at all throughout this entire quest which i'm perfectly fine with but you do get a good amount of medium and also large exp crystals as previously we had 796,000, and now we're almost pushing a million exp crystals on the medium ones so it looks like you can get around 200,000 exp crystals if you get lucky or unlucky again i would say before we do show the rest of the drops, I was on the unluckier side. I will say that. But it looks like we got close to 200,000 medium EXP crystals in the 777 runs that we did do. And for our large EXP crystals, we got around 9,000. Which is a good amount. Again, you're also getting a lot of other stuff alongside this. And this is definitely going to help kickstart a lot of new accounts. Just get a bunch of easy resources, including the EXP crystals, so then you can max out your characters. Personally, though, I've already maxed out every single character in my box, so I don't really have much usage for these EXP crystals, but I would never complain about having this many in case I ever do need to, you know, max a bunch of characters sometime in the future. Look at our droplets, though. Obviously, we are sitting on quite a few droplets. We're almost pushing 200,000 in every single color. Previously, though, let's have a look at what we had. So, previously, for the Technique droplets, we had 185,000. Now, we have 197,000. So, we're talking around 11 extra thousand Technique droplets in the runs that we did do. For the Hard droplets, it looks like we got an extra of 12,000. For the Power droplets, we got an additional 11,000. Speed, we got only 10,000. So, on the lower side, on that side. And then, for the Mind droplets, we actually actually got 16,000 so it definitely looks like when it came to the droplet drop rates that we did get in these particular quests we were getting more mine droplets I'm not sure if that's a trend if you're more likely to get mine stuff but at least for me I was getting more mine drops than any other attribute and I believe speed was the less drops that I did get but overall it looks like we averaged around 10,000 droplets in every color besides the mind one that got like the extra 7,000 droplets Moving on to our Link Star potions, though, let's look at the base ones. So, previously, for the Technique Link Star potion, we had 66,000 Link Star potions. Now, we have 77,000. So, it looks like that we got around exactly 11k Link Star potions. For Heart, we got 15,000 Link Star potions. For Power, we got 8,000 Link Star potions, so on the lower end there. For Speed, we got 9,000, so once more on the lower end, but a tad bit more than the Power one. And then for Mind, we only had 5,000. So, within the runs that we did do, again, 777, we're looking on average around 7,000 Link Star Potions, but we did get quite a few Rainbow Link Star Potions as we did pick up an additional 11,000. Now again, remember, I'm going to mention this quite a few times in video, it is RNG. This is an average of what I got. It doesn't reflect on how much potions you might get. You might get significantly less, but you might get significantly more, because as I did mention, we didn't get any of the lucky, super lucky drops, and I'll explain that in a minute. And uh, lastly though, let's have a look at our Super Link Star Potions. Uh, previously, we had 27,000 at Technique Link Star Potions, and now we have 29,000. So only around 2,000 right there. Super Link Star Potion for the Heart Attribute, we only got an additional 2,000. For Power, we got around 4,000. So we got an extra few Power Potions here, but nothing too special. For Speed, we got 
Actually, for speed, we got quite lucky. Hold on. So it looks like we got an additional 5,000 for the speed attribute. And then for the mind attribute, we also got around 3,000. So when it comes to these super link slot potions, I was more so getting more super mind link slots and also super speed link slots. When it came to the technique, heart, and also power, it looks like we were already getting 3k or 2k of each color. But we did actually get only 100 rainbow super link slot potions. And that's basically all we did get for our entire quest. We did get a few extra hokus though, an extra like 1,000 and around an extra 600 Hokey Q wheels and 777 tickets. Now, overall, was it worth the tickets that I used? Not really, but again, you got to remember this quest is super easy. I wasn't sweating this. I wasn't actually just, I wasn't grinding it nonstop. I had the quest on auto. I was opening the rooms when I had time to do, and I was able to do other stuff while actually running this particular quest. If I wanted to farm super links or potions, if I wanted to farm droplets, or if I wanted to farm, you know, epic raids, for example, where you can get more items per soul ticket, I would have to manually focus on that. I would have to spend more time in game focusing in while playing the game. In this case though, because the quest is super easy, I was able to casually do it while also doing other stuff at the same time. And that's definitely a nice thing about this quest and which is why I do recommend farming this quest because it's super casual. There's nothing going on in the game right now besides this co-op quest that you need to farm. Point events will come back every single, every second week. Epic Raid's always here, IT's always here, IZ's always here. So you might as well farm this, even if it isn't really worth the tickets to a certain extent. But do remember, I was on the unlucky end. You yourself, and you might have already gotten it, you can let me know in the comments below. You could easily make your tickets worth if you get the super lucky drop, like the additional 7,777 super links or potions. Or if you get really, really lucky, the additional 15,000 super links or potions. Because remember, that is actually a thing. Unfortunately for me, in the runs that I did do, the 777, in fact, the like 500 tickets that I spent beforehand, we didn't get any of the super drops. I never got 7,000 links of potions. I never got 15,000 links of potions. So that might be me on the unlucky end. Again, I've seen people get significantly more drops in less amount of soul tickets. So you just need to remember that while playing this particular quest. It's RNG at the end of the day. You could get really, really lucky, or you could get super unlucky. In my case, though i would say we got on the unlucky end but i don't regret the tickets that i spent on it i think i'm casually just collecting a bunch of extra potions just while ordering a super super easy quest for new account i definitely recommend spending a lot of time in this particular quest especially because while it's it's true we again only got like 2,000 links or potions the super links or potions these super links or potions don't come easy for really new accounts that can't carry that can't host their own lobbies that can't join people because they don't have super links or characters so i definitely recommend and farming this just to get a kickstart some way shape or form for super links or potions even the links are potions and droplets too. You're going to farm these a lot easier in the future, but as a new account, these are kind of like a rare item and you're not going to have characters worked up to even use them. So I definitely recommend farming this as a new account. For me, I have a side account and I'm going to be farming this for basically the rest of the week because it's definitely worth the time. And again, if you get even lucky and you get the 15,000 super links or potions, that's going to kickstart and help your account by quite a bit. So with that said, lads, that was the seventh anniversary curb quest of my results in 777 tickets. Again, let me know how many tickets you have to spend and how much you've gotten thus far again like i mentioned multiple times in this video for me it appears that we got on the unlucky end but i'm not done farming this quest even though i spent the soul tickets and orbs on those soul tickets now i'm gonna casually farm it whenever i'm capped out on soul tickets i'm just gonna spend it in this particular quest because i still think it is worth it you do get a decent amount of rewards and it's just super super easy i'm also gonna be farming it on my side account and i also plan to do 500 tickets on a live stream this upcoming weekend potentially tomorrow actually where we can try and play together and and see if we can also get really lucky. So I hope to see you lads there. But what I said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll see you lads next time. Peace.